you must have some sense okay even before tackling any problem or uh, writing any equation any moment equation or uh, application of any particular method whether it is uh, deflections from the deflection of beams chapter or from the energy methods immediately on seeing a situation your mind should go to the uh, to the internal mechanics of the thing okay so that is the difference between you and a lay person okay and the more you uh, you get into the habit of these kinds of things no it's like a muscle okay so the people who go to gym and build muscles uh, it doesn't happen overnight okay so uh, it takes i mean months and months and probably years before that kind of body develops similarly it is for this kinds of things like your training to be part of an engine and, so, and i'm sorry i i have this hab habit of lecturing like uh, more and more i get gray hair on my head more and more i get this tendency so this this muscle is also developing from me you know, lecturing uh, endlessly to students so let me just tell you okay uh, that this 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 habit of looking into the internal mechanics of things it's a very very precious thing that you uh, that you must develop okay uh, you see uh, uh, the thermofluid science guys may have already learned this uh, so there are various kinds of irreversibilities associated in thermodynamics in in thermodynamics and one of the very important irreversibilities that you uh, that you study uh, and that you deal with is the irreversibility associated with the lost opportunity to do work i repeat the irreversibility associated with the lost opportunity to do work what i mean by that is that uh, in a in a piston cylinder kind of arrangement if there is a free expansion without any resistance that's a lost opportunity to do work and that kind of free sudden expansion leads to an irreversibility irreversibility is literally irreversibility you cannot get back that work done opportunity similarly in life and in your career when you are young at this stage second year third year level there are lots of opportunities for you to develop this kind of thinking ability okay once this age is gone no you may still be able to do quite a few problems you may still be able to do a job but there will be a difference between you and another student who may have day in and day out develop this ability to think uh, on encountering a problem okay it makes a huge difference okay it's like this your mental graph trajectory is like this at this young age so this is time okay and this is your mental muscle so m here not moment muscle so uh, so at this young age so this is like the second year level this there is not much difference between two two students who who one who thinks deeply and the another who doesn't think deeply there is not much difference it may also be possible that students who are not thinking that deeply somehow they quickly solve problems and then maybe even they are getting more marks in the examinations that is also possible but as time goes on you see this kind of these two graphs you no know, this muscle of brain muscle it kind of diverges and it di and the and the more time goes this gap becomes more and more so a person who has developed a student who has developed this ability to think on encountering these problems deeply his brain ability after 3 4 years will be at a much much advanced stage compared to a student who has just solved problems like at at face value without thinking deeply okay i am i'm done lecturing let me solve the problem